Hey you guys, it's Kimberly. I um decided to do a recycled package backing. Um this is the 15th of May and yesterday was the 14th of May. I found out yesterday morning that my mom had passed away the night before. And so I'm still kind of, well, not kind of, I'm still in a fog. And the only place that I feel comfort is at my um, desk, my craft table. And I'm going to try to hold it together during this um, recording. But I had this packaging sitting at my desk left over from when I did my mom's canvas yesterday and I wanted to do something with it so what I did is I put a coat of uh, just a thin coat of gesso over it which you saw me do and dry I thought about putting this painted um, Bible paper on it and um, I decided not to do that so I just kind of stared at it for a while and since my mom is what's on my mind, I, I kind of wanted to do it in a theme that would be pleasing to her. And my mom had a distinct style about herself. It wasn't really country. It really wasn't shabby chic. It really wasn't Victorian. It was just kind of all of those things blended together. And she loved to garden. She loved flowers. She loved nature. Birds, hummingbirds were her favorite. And so I kind of wanted to incorporate something on those lines. And I don't know why, but the barn wood just reminded me of my mom. So it came to me that I had this paper pack after sitting, and, and I literally just stared at this gessoed tag for I can't even tell you because right now time is just kind of standing still to me but for a long time and then it finally hit me what I wanted to do I got this paper pack and I decided that I wanted to use it for this tag and this tag isn't in memory of my mom but I just I wanted to create something that would be pleasing to my mom since that's what is on my mind right now so um, that's what I just kind of went with what I was feeling so I'm just putting some glue and this is the paper that I picked out I, it's not necessarily pink being her favorite color pink is my favorite color but you know the the roses remind me of her and the barn wood and um, I just really like this paper so I used it and what I did is I, I did trace around the the tag and I cut out everything and I'm just you know fitting it better um, after I glued that first side and now I'm just gluing the second side down um, I like to use a brush to get the glue even on the back so you don't get those lumps and then I'm using that envelope opener to smooth it down once I get the paper on top just to again smooth out the glue underneath so that you don't get any lumps and you don't get any air pockets underneath I like using the tags because I don't I just think that you know it's for one thing you're recycling it so it was free and I think that they make nice nice tags so um, just one less thing that you ha you throw away and something you can make something really pretty and cool out of. So I'm just trimming around the edges here to make it all flush. And then I'm going to give it a hit with my glue gun because it's you know pretty soggy from the glue being on both sides. And so I'll give it a hit with the with my heat gun and get it all smoothed out and dry
My mom is really funny about her style. She had these two, she loved antiques, always, my whole life, antiques. She had these two red velvet chairs, a white or cream colored floral couch, and antiques all over her house with these two statue lamp things that were, from, you know, Victorian. That, you know, and I always, I mean, her, her style just meshed to what she was, who she was. It, it just always did. But um, definitely was never my style, but it was definitely her style. <laughs> but um, I always chuckled a little bit when, when she would have these new finds in her house. So now I'm, I put on this well barrel that I, I cut a whole bunch of out of my Cricut machine. And um, since she liked to garden so much, and I added these little Bible flowers that I made, made out of Bible paper, and they're, they're really tiny. So I'm just applying them with some craft glue and tweezers. And these are the last that I have of those flowers that I made. And I, for some reason, I just felt the need that I needed to, to finish them, that I needed to put them all on here. Now, these ones are made out of paper that I was thinking about putting in. They're a little bit bigger, but I decided, no, I just want these little ones on here. And if you can see, you, it has the little gardening tools um, hanging off of the wheelbarrow there. And... I had to put some lace because this lace just reminds me of my mom, you know, with the with the gardening and then, you know, we go back to the to the Victorian antique, you know, that that just says my mom all right there. You know, you can just mix all these different things together and that's just the way that my mom was, you know, you can mix the elegance with the country and it just all comes together. Now, I don't know why I didn't use my hot glue. Um, I'm just, things just aren't coming to me really fast and it's taken a while for me to figure out, oh, why didn't you just use the hot glue here? But I'm just not thinking 100% clearly, so it hits me in the minute. Well, this would stick down so much better if you just use the hot glue gun that you've got sitting next to you. Um, but I did a lot of sitting through this tag. All in all, this tag probably took me a good three hours to make, which I cut out a lot of the video, and I didn't even plan on or know if I was going to put this on. I just, whenever I sit down to do a craft now, I just automatically turn the camera on. And if I use the footage, I use it. If not, I don't. Um, so, you know, the time just lapses. My camera just records. And then if I use it, I edit, you know, the parts out where I get up and walk away from the camera or if I'm, you know, sitting down and not really doing anything. So I took out a lot of just the blank video where, you know, I'm not doing anything or um, I had moments of um, sadness where, you know, you don't want to see that. And of course, I took all of the audio out. So we're actually almost done. I'm going to go ahead and trim it out with some more lace. I decided to use this teeny tiny rickrack, pink rickrack that I got that I think kind of ties in the country of the paper and um, blends in the elegance of that lace that I used. And I'm using the heat gun just to get all of my little spider webs from my glue gun off. And I'm going to go ahead and add some more trims down at the bottom. The first one that I lay down is like a seam binding. 
in a cream color. I'm just going to wrap that around to the back side of the tag and give it a clip. And then this next one is the lace that has little tiny flowers on the edges of it. I'm laying that over the top of the of the cream colored lace. Just layering it. And then I'm just going to finish it off with tying some. Oh now first I'm going to put I thought about putting pearls, but the flowers are so tiny that even my smallest little flat back pearls would have been too large. So I went ahead and put these little rhinestones in the centers of these little flowers. And I've already, as you saw, the paper that I was thinking about putting on this tag, I've already um, spritzed with some metallic, diluted metallic paint sprays. And I'm going to make some more of these little guys. Um, since I used all of these ones up. But I'm just putting these in the centers of the flowers to add a little bling to it. These are from the paper studio and for some reason the backing on these either comes off or it's not real sticky. It's really hard to get most of these off of the sheets that I really have to tug most of it and then when you pull them off the the glue comes off with them so on some of them I have to apply glue and I'm really happy with the way that it all came out I think that it looks really cute and I think my mom would have loved this tag I think that it just it just looks like something that she would have loved so I'm just cutting the ribbons to add to the top of the tag. At first I was going to add them one by one, as you'll see. But then I realized that it, it wouldn't work that way. I'm just um, doing the lighter trick to the ends of that one so that it doesn't fray. I just wanted to seal it. So now I'm taking that one off and I'm going to line them all up so that they're all centered onto the tag and pull them all through. You want to be careful when you do this so that you don't rip your um, your paper. So you just do it gently pulling one end and then the other end to keep them even. And that's it. It's done. Has a little bit of my style. A lot of my mom's style. And I just wish that she was here and I could give it to her. So I hope you all have a good morning, afternoon, and evening wherever you are in the world. And God bless. Bye.